Hey everyone, it's the Cinema Dude, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are once again in the movie room where we are going to look at uh, my latest um, Dollar Tree uh, Dollar Movie haul. This was uh, from, I want to say a few weeks back, even, maybe even more than that. Um, got some titles, all horror, and uh, just wanted to show them off. Three, three of them I've heard of. Um, but all of them are blind buys, so let's hop right into it. Uh, the first one is a movie called Blood Moon from 2014. Um, this one is a, a werewolf movie, um, and it says, A deserted mining town lit by the glow of a reddish full moon. A sage cult full of passengers and an dynamic gunslinger find themselves up against two bloodthirsty outlaws on the run from a deadly bank robbery. <clears throat> Excuse me. As their worlds collide and the weary travelers attempt to escape, it becomes apparent that a bigger menace lurks outside on the plains, an otherworldly beast that only appears on the night of the a blood red moon. Uh, and then there's also 49, as a bonus feature, 49 minutes of behind the scenes video, cast, crew, uh, interviews, and audio commentary. So, um, it was kind of cool because it's a kind of a, um, horror Western, I'm oh, sorry for the glare, um, but one that has werewolves, you usually don't see werewolves, um, in kind of Western hordes, a lot of vampires, um, you know, or spirits or things like that, but, um, so thought I would add this, add this to my werewolf, uh, collection of subgenre that I have, but also, uh, some more horror westerns. Uh, then we have another um, 2014 movie. Uh, this one is The Redwood Massacre. Uh, it says, For each year on the exact date of the infamous Redwood House Massacre, people from around the country come to check out the legendary murder site. Events take a bloody turn when the innocent campers discover the Redwood legend is, in fact, a horrible, bloody reality, turning the unsuspecting victims into prey for a mysterious axe-wielding maniac that has remained dormant for 20 years. So, uh, just a different slasher, kind of a cool mask on him. And, uh, yeah. Another one to add to the uh, slasher area. Now, this one I've heard of before, haven't seen it. Uh, it has Danny Trejo in it. And um, this is an Asylum film. And this is from 2015. And it says, Three-headed juggernaut of terror in the tradition of Jaws and the Deep Blue Sea. And that is... Three-headed shark attack. Um, let me just go back over here. Oh, on, on the Redwood Massacre, there is a making of video uh, on that one. Uh, so, it says, The world's greatest killing machine is three times as deadly when a mutated shark threatens a cruise ship. As a shark eats its way from one end of the ship to the next, the passengers fight the deadly prey using anything they can find. Um, and there's a making of three-headed shark attack, gag, gag reel, and trailers. So, it is three-headed shark attack. One of these low-budget asylum films, but uh, for a dollar, hey, why not? You know, actually, there's four that I've heard of because I've heard of this one, too. Uh, this one is from 2018, um, and it is directed by uh, Darren Lynn Boseman, who did uh, Saw 2, 3, um, 4... And for um, this one is um, Saint Agatha, like I said, from 2018, uh, and it says a, a pregnant unmarried woman on the run from her abusive father seeks refuge in a convent hidden in deafening isolation. A perfect place to have a child reveals a sick and twisted truth, pushing Agatha to escape this evil and save her baby. Before she's caged behind these walls forever. 
Um, and then there is uh, director and cast commentary and deleted scenes on this one. Um, so it looks like another ghost kind of one. Um, again, heard of it, but haven't seen it. So looking forward to checking it out. Out of all the films, this one is the one I know the most about. Um, and um, it's kind of cool that this was on the dollar section. This is from 2008, or sorry, 2018, excuse me. And um, it is Ant Rum, uh, the deadliest film ever made. Uh, so this one is a film that they made it seem like it was like a cursed film and if you see it so in the vein of cigarette burns um in the vein of that was the masters of horror um uh john carpenter right yeah john carpenter episode um and then also like um in the sense of the rabbit rabbit episode recently of uh, American Horror Stories, uh, kind of taking a thing of, oh, this is a cursed film. If you watch it, you'll go crazy and stuff. So, um, rumored to be, to have been lost, Ant Rum, uh, appears as a cursed film from the 70s. Viewers are warned to proceed with caution. It said the, a story of a young boy and girl who enter the forest to save the soul of their recently deceased pet. They journey to the Ant Rum. They, the very spot the devil landed after being cast out of heaven. There, the children begin to dig a hole to hell. Um, so yeah, it's like if people watch this, they go crazy and stuff. Um, it was kind of cool, the kind of the marketing of this. Um, that, you know, oh, they, they sound this movie. And then when you actually start, oh, actually they made it, but they're using it as that. So kind of cool to have that to my collection. Uh, the next one. You could kind of say um, it's horror, but it's more, I would say, action. Um, but definitely has kind of violent aspects to it. And this is this little last one, I think. Yeah, it's the last one um, that I heard about just because of the person on it. So this one has uh, Daniel Baldwin in it. But it has Roger uh, Kovacs. Now, if, um, if you don't know Roger Kovacs, he is a spinning image of... Um, oh my God, why can't I think of the uh, actor now? Charles Bronson. There you go. I had to think about it first. I'm like, okay, who's in Death Witch? Uh, Charles Bronson. Splitting image of him. Um... So, this is Death Kiss, as you can see. I mean, almost a splitting image of Charles Bronson. Uh, this is from 2018. And this is in vain of the Death Wish movies. So, a uh, radio host, played by Daniel Baldwin, <clears throat> asks, Who will deliver the kiss of death to the criminal element taking over? A vigilante with a mysterious past, Robert Kovacs, answers the call. He becomes a one-man army to take on villain Tyrell and a crime-infested town, and at the same time protecting a young mother and her child. Uh, so this has audio commentary with writer and director Renee Perez and a theatrical trailer. That is Death Kiss. Again, I thought that would be kind of cool to have. Um, like I said, not really horror um has some, you know, violent horror aspects to it, <clears throat> but thought it was kind of cool to add that to my action things and put it right next to uh, Death Wish um, because it's so kind of similar and stuff. So, uh, next is an anthology film from 2019, and this is A Night of Horror, Nightmare Radio. And um, Rod leaves a very popular radio show dedicated to horror, one day, the show begins to receive a strange, strange calls from a child who desperately asks for help. At first, they all think it's a sick joke until they discover it is not the case. These calls, these calls hide a dark and deadly secret. So yeah, different uh, anthology thing. I don't know 
how many are on here. Um, it looks to be maybe four, maybe. So, uh, you know, I have a whole bunch of anthology horror films, so why not add another one I haven't heard of before? And then going from anthology horror to another section that I, I enjoy in my um, horror collection is Bigfoot um, and kind of those kind of Yeti and things like that movies. Um, and with that, we have a bottom wool. And this is from 2019. Um, and this one says, The legends are true. A research team embarks on a journey to obtain a plant that can advance medical research by centuries. While stumbling upon clues of a previous expedition, they discover that a Yeti creature lurks within the Himalayan mountains, and it will do anything to protect its terrain. So, uh, again, one I haven't seen before. Uh, looks to have kind of cool creature effects. Um, sometimes these can be way hit or miss. Um, but, uh, yeah, want to add that one to my collection. Uh, this one is also from 2019. And I want to say it's pronounced Kukui. I could be wrong. Kukui the Boogeyman. I don't know if that's how you actually say that. Um, but it says, when, a, when children start disappearing without a trace, a young woman starts to suspect that a legendary evil, a boogeyman known as the Kukui, is responsible. According to legend, the Kukui would come at night to snatch misbehaving children and take them back to its cave to be eaten. Uh, her only chance to save the children is to locate its cave and destroy the Kukui before it's too late. So, uh, kind of an interesting premise. Um... To me, it kind of reminds me of, like, a little bit of the Krampus, um, where, you know, there's a story that the Krampus would take, um, children back that were misbehaving and things like that, um, but then, you know, if you look at the back, too, but then, I don't know, it kind of has that, plus, I would almost say, because, like, they have a kid in a picture in the cave, um, Almost like Stranger Things kind of looking. But then I would also say maybe almost like Jeepers Creepers too. Um, so kind of a mix of that. Again, haven't seen it before. Looking to check this one out as well. And final two. Uh, we have from one from 2019. And this one is... Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's not in this one. Um, it is Coven. So another witch movie. Uh, it says five undergrad witches come together in order to perform a ritual to invoke the ancient powers of the witch Ashura. The leader of the coven gets carried away and actually kills one of the wick witches during the ritual. She needs the strength of a complete coven to invoke Ashura's powers and send them out to find a final witch. As she absorbs powers of oh excuse me as she absorbs power, the surviving girls plot to take her down, but the possessed witch un unleashes hell on campus with only one young witch left to stop her. So, uh, just another kind of witch film. This one takes place at uh, college campus, so kind of a different kind of setting. So, yeah, thought I would add more witches to there. Uh, and then finally is a film, uh, Dear Diary. This is also from 2019 and this one won a whole bunch of well let's see uh yeah so there was a few winners um but then it was a official selection at dread fest um it was a finalist at south georgia film festival semi-finalist at los angeles cinefest um semi-finalist at moscow indie film festival um, so a whole bunch of different ones in here, uh, but it says when a psychiatrist, oh, and this is Dear Diary, it has a nice slip on it too. When a psychiatrist researches a young girl's diary to find out why she murdered her entire family, he begins to fall into the same state of insomnia and confusion that led her to lose her mind. 
it's kind of a different, must be kind of like a possessed one. Her journal is the gateway to hell, it says down there. So probably like a possession type movie. So, uh, but that is Dear Diary. So uh, very quick video this week. I uh, just wanted to show everybody kind of what I got. A whole bunch of horror titles I'll be able to watch uh, at the end of this month and uh, into next month for the spooky season. So uh, definitely have a whole bunch to watch. Uh, definitely adding and padding out um, the different genres that I have too. Um, next week, depending on how everything falls, um, I may do a um, video on these uh, sections because this kind of part of the uh, movie room is done. Um, and I can kind of go through um, everything. Um, and But if not, uh, I also have the Cold War Creatures uh, set uh, that should be arriving as well. So hopefully that one, I can show off that one. If not, uh, we will go into looking at uh, stuff behind me. So uh, comment below. Have you seen any of these movies? Um, have you picked up anything from the uh, Dollar Tree um, dollar sales? It seems like now it's like every month they're doing it, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I think it gets more people through their doors and stuff. So it's, it's got to be a good tactic and stuff. And they have some good stuff in there. You know, you'll find the occasional, like I said, I found, found occasional uh, films releases in there, um, Scream Factory releases. So it kind of just depends on what your store gets, you know, if you get there, you know, early or whatnot. So, but yeah, comment below. Um, any of these interest you? Any of the titles that I showed today? I know um, the Abominable one, the... Uh, Blood Moon one, um, Ant Rum kind of sounds, those ones sound really cool that I want to check out first and stuff. So, uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you all are doing well out there too. And remember, be kind and rewind. We'll see everybody next week.